Oh, what's up, sci fi nerds? I'm your host, Dr. McKay, and welcome back to another explainer video. And in today's video, we are going to be covering hyperspace in the Stargate universe. But before we get started, if you like the content and want to help the channel out, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and it really does help the channel out. So, hyperspace, what is it? Well, hyperspace in the Stargate universe is the name given and the method for faster than light travel. Nearly all the races and ships in the Stargate universe use hyperspace for faster than light travel between stars and even to travel across galaxies. This method of travel greatly reduces the time it takes to travel across space, allowing ships to take mere days or weeks to travel instead of hundreds if not thousands of years in normal space. Each race in the show has a slight variation of hyperdrive engine, with some allowing faster travel compared to others, but they all work in the same manner, which brings us to how they actually work. <laughs> Hyperspace in the Stargate universe is a concept very different from, say, warp drive in the Star Trek universe, and is somewhat different from the hyperspace travel in Star Wars, even though they have the same name. So, hyperspace in Stargate is an alternate dimension from normal space, called subspace. This alternate dimension does not follow the same laws of physics laid down by Einstein's theory of special relativity. This allows a ship to travel faster than light without actually going faster than light in normal space, which is impossible because the object's mass becomes infinite and so does the energy required to move it. That means it is impossible for any matter to go faster than light travels. Also, traveling in hyperspace gets around the effect of time dilation when moving at relativistic speeds or near light speed. This means the travelers traveling through hyperspace will experience the same passage of time as everyone else. Hyperspace also being a separate dimension doesn't actually interact with objects in normal space like planets and stars, allowing for direct travel between locations instead of having to navigate around them. An example of this is in SG-1 when they used a tail-tack cargo ship's hyperdrive to move an asteroid through Earth, preventing a collision. Carter, I can see my house. Engaging hyperdrive now. And they also use the F-302's hyperdrive to bypass Anubis's mothership's shields. Other things to note is subspace gives off harmful radiation. So ships like the Wraith Hive ship that are unprotected by any protective shields needs to, needs to periodically leave hyperspace to allow their hulls to regenerate from the damage caused by the radiation. Other ships though that are protected can travel indefinitely without incurring damage from this radiation. Also, most ships cannot use shields or weapons in hyperspace and are vulnerable when entering and exiting hyperspace. This is due to the mass amount of energy required to maintain a hyperspace window, meaning most of the ship's power is occupied by this action, making shields and weapons temporarily unavailable at this time. Which brings us to how does a ship use hyperspace? Right, let's use the Daedalus for this explanation. So for a ship to use hyperspace, firstly, it needs a hyperdrive engine. So with that in place, the ship then powers up the engine to create a window or commonly known as a hyperspace window. This leads into subspace. The ship can then fly into the window and enter subspace, allowing the ship to travel faster than light using its sublight engines. This allows the ship to travel in a direct line from one destination to the next and upon reaching their, okay, their destination, the ship then powers up the hyperdrive engine again to open a hyperspace exit window, which the ship will use to leave subspace to enter normal space, and that is it. This is the method of FTL, faster than light travel, and is a lot faster and more efficient than most other sci-fi shows is fast and light travel. This method is special and it allows the Stargate universe a unique ability to travel clear across the Milky Way galaxy in no time at all and with the fast speeds it gives the ability to be able to travel between galaxies which brings me to the two types of hyperdrive engines seen in the show. 
The first engine is called an interstellar hyperdrive, which most spacefaring races start with. This engine is used mainly to travel within the galaxy you reside in. The next hyperdrive engine is the intergalactic hyperdrive. Like the name states, this more powerful engine allows the user to travel not only in the galaxy you reside in, but across the empty void encountered between galaxies to reach a neighboring galaxy. This drive is very advanced technology and is only known by a few races like the Asgard and the Ancients. However, the Tauri was gifted this drive by the Asgard to be able to reach Atlantis, so the Tauri also possessed this technology. Well, that's hyperspace explained. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Any questions, please do leave a comment below and please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more and to help me grow this channel. I've been your host, Dr. McKay, and thank you all for watching this explainer. And until the next video, I'll catch you all then. Cheers and goodbye. Bye-bye all.